In the example, we are asked to show that x minus i and x plus 2i are factors of this expression, and to determine the other factor by inspection. For x minus i, which is this one here, then if we make x minus i equal to 0, just like you would for the factor theorem, so therefore x equals i. So we want to find the remainder when x equals i, so we put i into the expression using x as i. That gives us this expression here. You can put this into your calculator if you like. I'm just going to do the bits in between. This is 3 times i to the power of 3. i squared is negative 1, so negative, so that's times by negative 1 times i that's left over, minus i squared is negative 1, so that's um, negative times a negative is positive, so it's i, and that's plus 10i minus 8i. Right, carrying on with this, that's together gives you negative 3i plus i plus 10i minus 8i. That gives me negative 11i plus 11i, which is 0. Therefore, x minus i is a factor. And you do the same thing for the other factor. So if we take the other factor, which is x plus 2i, make it equal to 0, that means that x plus equals negative 2i. Put that 2i into the remainder theorem. So that would be 3 times negative 2i cubed minus i times negative 2i squared plus 10 times 2 negative 2i minus 8i. Hopefully when you finish all of that that will give you 0 and hence you've proven that x plus 2i is a factor.